my lifestyle when uh, when I grew up and raising my kids. I raised my kids to understand and to be not to be fearful and scared, but to be cautious of what their surroundings and what they could do and what they couldn't do. My my perspective on 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 the white person, it was a lot of anger and hurt because I couldn't see myself being contrary like them and doing people the way they were doing us. My grandmama taught me how to approach them and not be scorned by them. Whatever they get put in my hand after I have worked so hard that day, I always have a smile and say, thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. That's what the way she taught me how to get through that lifestyle. If they wanted you, they were gonna get you. And they were gonna do what they wanted to you. Now you had to pray to the Lord that they didn't kill you. But nowadays, in this day and time, you have a chance. You have a chance if they don't kill you, you have a chance to go to court and testify against them. But when I came up, they didn't care. They throwed your body in the river and kept going. Growing up going when, when growing up going to church was my sole survivor in the lifestyle that I was living in. I depended on God to get me where I needed to go. And I still live that lifestyle. I live it every day. Because like I say, it's hard. It's really hard out here and it's hard not to think about how you came and how you beat and throw that to the ground. And I still live it every day. Okay. What you want me to sing? Mm, your favorite song, your favorite church song. <laughs> Girl, I ain't sung in years. Let me be at peace, oh Lord, I need Thee every hour, don't leave me by the wayside, pick me up Lord, give me the strength, oh Lord.